Okay, let's solve a problem now that's finding the force on a particle that's moving through a magnetic field. So this is just, this is to give us the magnitude of the force. So magnetic force is the magnitude of Q. Q is, in this case, plus 10 nanocoulombs. It's all in the magnitude here, so I'm going to just take the plus away for right now. So 10 nanocoulombs times V, V in this case is 25 meters per second. B, magnetic field here is given as 0.4 Tesla, times sine of theta. And theta, remember, is the angle between the B field and the velocity vector. So the way I've drawn it here, there's an angle right here, 70 degrees, times sine 70 degrees. So that is 10 times 25 times 0 0.4. Let's see, 0 0.4 times that's 4 times 25. That's 100. This is nanocoulombs, so that's 10 to the minus 9. So times 10 to the minus 9. And since I have all uh, SI units here, I know my answer is going to come out also in SI units. So it's going to be newtons. So that's 1 times 10 to the minus 7 newtons. Oh, sorry. I forgot the sine 70. Sine 70 degrees. 1 times 10 to the minus 7 times sine of 70 degrees newtons. And I don't know what the sine of 70 degrees is, but I'll bet you have a calculator. So you can work that out. So that is the magnitude of the force. Then you would probably also, this says to find the force. Uh, this just is the magnitude. So you also need to include direction. And the direction, right hand rule, so fingers in the direction of the B field, thumb in the direction of velocity, so that's down this way, and then the force, it's a positive charge, so the force comes out of my palm, so out of the board. So out of the board, or you can, probably a better way to write out of the board, an arrow pointing straight out, is that. So there you go, whatever 1 times 10 to the minus 7 times sine 70 is, that's Newton's out of the board.